Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to set up before your first use this Farberware Dual Brew Coffee Maker. It's sold at Walmart for $79, model number FW61100042831. So my first video is, I, I did an unboxing, I showed you all the measurements. This video is going to be set up before first use. Then my next video is going to be a detailed video. I'm going to actually going to make a pot of coffee and I'm going to make a cake up and use the reusable filter to make some coffee and let you know how it tastes. But I've got the manual out and before first use, they, they want you to set the machine up. Now, the first part, we're going to set the coffee maker side up and then we're going to set the uh, cake up side up. So unfortunately, it doesn't say these are dishwasher safe. I, I would imagine they are, but you are going to want to wash this and this lid this lid pops off okay and then on the on this side this is your brew basket you're going to want to wash this first so it says just wash it with warm soapy water rinse off and then on the k-cup side this is the k-cup be careful there is a sharp needle down there be careful of that so wash this out with soap and water and you can wash this with soap and water and then you're ready to go but we're gonna run some fresh water through on both sides to clean it out. So this one's a little different than most coffee makers. This one says when using the appliance for the first time, it is recommended to operate it for at least two full cycles without ground coffee in the brew basket on the brewer side and at least two full cycles on the capsule side until no odor or smoke is present. During use, ensure ample ventilation. Let the appliance cool and then you're supposed to clean these one last time. So after you do this process, go ahead and wash these out again, and then it'll be ready to go. But what's a little different is, is two full cycles. Most coffee makers I review tell you just to run one uh, water through it. But this one's telling you to do two, and it's kind of giving you, make sure there's no odor present. Okay, so again, we're going to do the coffee maker side. You have to have, this is the brew basket. This has to be installed with that little plunger. And make sure you've got it. There's kind of a notch over here. If you get it off, the lid won't close. Don't force it. That should be right there. It should be kind of nice and flush. We're not going to put a filter or coffee grounds in here. Now, I've got the coffee craft filled up to the 12 mark. We're simply going to dump the water right back here. That craft pours really nice. So I could add just a little bit more. So make sure your craft has its lid on. That lid pushes that plunger up. That's what's going to let the water come out. So be careful. This, this will get hot when we're done brewing this water. So even though I put the craft in, this does pop up a little bit. But as long as it's aligned, it will push down when the lid put, goes down. So then you're just going to put the lid down. Again, make sure the lid's down. Your unit may make sure it's plugged in. You may have to set the time, but here, just press the power button. It's going to turn the display on. You're simply just going to hit this brew button. It's kind of, it's, it's barely lit up, but there is a brew button right here. You're just going to hit it. Now the display turns off and only the brew button is lit in the power. So that's the only signal you got that this thing has started. So it's going to, it's going to run that whole entire water through the coffee maker side. And that's called like a cleansing brew. And we need to do this two times. Okay, so here we can see the hot water is coming through the coffee maker. And it will fill this up to almost the 12 mark. Okay, so that took about 11 to 12 minutes. Towards the end, it does get a little noisy. And you do get some kind of like pops and some steam. And this is really hot, so be careful. Okay, so this thing... It's done brewing all that water through, so you really don't notice any difference. The brew light remains on, and it will remain on for two hours to keep your coffee warm, the warming plate on. So you don't get a notification that, to let you know that it's done brewing all the water. It just kind of quiets down. There's no more steam coming out. So at this point, and again, I'm almost to the 12 mark, so just come up here and press the power button. We want it to, so that turns the warming plate off. Now this water is really hot. We're going to dump it out. Okay, so I filled this back up with water, with fresh water. Be careful, you might get some steam when you open this. Okay, 
And then you're gonna fill this water reservoir up again to the 12 mark and hit the brew button one more time and run just fresh water through the machine. That's that, after that second time, the coffee maker is ready to brew coffee. Now be careful, when you, when you pour water in the second time, you might get some puffs of steam coming out or something. That's normal, so just be careful. Okay, so now we've got the, the coffee maker side set up. Let's switch over to the K-cup side. So we open this up. Again, there's our, be careful, there's a sharp needle there. This is the K-cup holder. It has a sharp needle in the bottom. Now I'm gonna set it up with the K-cup holder. You can use this also, but just make sure there's no coffee grounds in it or anything. So put this in here and don't put a K-cup in there. Just leave it empty, okay? And again, make sure it's got like a little notch. Don't get it off center or this won't close. So right there's a, well, there's a little notch. And then this should close and make sure it snaps. It has to snap. Now we've got the water reservoir back here. Now this water reservoir, it's going to brew whatever amount we put in there. So it's kind of like the coffee maker side. Whatever amount of water you put in the coffee maker side, when you press the brew button, it brews the entire amount. You don't select like two, four, two cups or one cup. Same over here. This isn't like a Keurig where you have a water reservoir and then you select, oh, I want a six ounce or I want an eight ounce cup of coffee. On the K-cup side, whatever amount you put back here is what it's gonna brew. So when you want an eight ounce brew, you gotta fill it up to the eight ounce mark. When you want a 10 ounce brew, you fill it up to the 10 and 14. The minimum is six. And this is just like a little filter. There's the actual reservoir. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it up. Uh, it says to do an eight ounce br brew. Okay, I've got it filled up to the eight ounce. Make sure you got your coffee mug down here. This water coming out is gonna be really hot. Close this lid. Again, the brew light is not on, so if it was, press the power button to turn it off. If your display is off, just press your power button. You're gonna hit the capsule button. We, we're not using the ground coffee capsule. That's the ground button. We're just gonna hit the, the capsule button one time. It turns on. What that's gonna do is that's gonna suck down or it's gonna heat that water up in here. And then it's gonna shoot it through that K-cup area to kind of clean it. This is called a fresh water rinse. And again, they want us to do it two times on the K-cup side. So it's been about a minute and a half. We can hear that water kind of boiling in there. Nothing has started to come out yet. So it's gonna heat that water up and then it's gonna shoot it through. Okay, so it kind of turned like a pump on. I can hear a pump and the water's coming out. Be careful, you do get quite a bit of steam coming up around here. is still running even though it's done okay so I know it's done all the lights came back on now this unit will power itself down after two hours so if you forget to turn the power button off you got to hold the power button but if you forget to turn it off it will turn itself off now it does beep when it turns on and off so we can see back here it ran all that water through the machine so I'm gonna go dump this out, then I'm gonna fill this up to the eight ounce mark again, and you're gonna do that whole process again. Again, make sure there's no cake up in here. See how it's kind of it's doing like a fresh water rinse. So two times on each side, then the coffee maker is ready to use. Check out my next video. I'm gonna I'm gonna brew a pot of coffee and I'm gonna start brewing some K-cups. And I'm gonna brew my own coffee with this reusable uh, coffee filter. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.